everybody, what's up? Welcome to today's video. I'm Brian Kay, and today we're going to be talking about an awesome concept for our blues playing that is the less is more concept, okay? Less is more, all right? So before we get into it though, I do, you know, want to mention, you know, if you haven't done so already, you know, please do, you know, like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. You know, it's a small thing to do and it really goes a long way to help this con you know, channel continue to grow, okay? And of course, if you'd like to help support me in other ways, check out the links in my description for some other things that you can do to you know, help me pre keep bringing the content out here. And with that said, okay, let's get into today's video about less is more. Now, we're in a, today's I think, let's see it. Yeah, today's a key of B minor, okay? A key of B minor kind of day, okay? And we're going to be talking about blues, you know, 12 bar blues in the key of B minor, all right? So we're looking at, you know, B, E, and F sharp minor chords of some kind, right? In our 12 bar, okay? So. The scales that we'll be pulling in for the less is more examples here are going to basically be the minor pentatonic scale, okay? In the awesome key of B minor. Okay, so the B minor pentatonic scale. Now, less is more is basically saying much, much more by playing less, okay? And this is gonna be specifically related to like our guitar solos, you know? You know, playing notes with the scale to say something in a 12 bar blues solo, okay? And as guitar players, sometimes it's not always that easy for us to think this way because when we are learning how to play, we're always filling in like the beat with different types of notes, right? Eighth notes, triplets, sixteenth notes, thirty-second notes, right? And generally when we're practicing these things to learn them, you know, we're going to be doing them in time with a drummer in a box, right? Where you're going to be slapping in all kinds of note durations and continuing to play through your scales, like if it's the minor pentatonic scale in B minor, you know? We keep playing. We don't stop, right? Because we're learning our scales. And so on, right? Whatever kind of note duration it is, triplets, sixteenths, doesn't matter. But we learn that way. And it's easy to carry that over into our lead guitar playing, which has the unfortunate like effect of making things that we play when we're doing a guitar solo, it can sound like a scale exercise and it can sound kind of like a run on sentence where it just doesn't stop. And nobody wants to hear the run on sentence type of guitar playing. It's, I mean, a flurry of notes here and there is cool where you say, if, pretty good amount of notes and you maybe you know do some nice blurry fast lines but you have to know like when enough is enough and we kind of don't really learn that one when we're practicing our scales and building our technique right we just keep going so we kind of filters over into our applications our real-time applications so how do you start to break that right so that you have a natural less is more approach, right? It's not that hard. So a good thing is to, you can use a metronome or a drum machine or even a jam track, right? But I'm just kind of right now give an example with the metronome before we go to some real time examples with, you know, the looper going. So, you know, see so here the concept in action with some, you know, harmonic structures in back with some rhythm guitar, right? But how do you start to practice this? Well, you pick a key like today's a B minor kind of day, think about your B minor pentatonic scale, and you take little ideas out of the scale 
and you save them, but you keep them super, super small ideas, like less notes, right? Like... Let it click. Let the time keep going, right? Less is more. start to do <clears throat> and just use a metronome clicking along think of a chord progression like a 12 bar blues in your mind or use a jam track to help you you know keep with that but the idea is to do it with some time okay with at least a metronome or maybe a drum machine but a metronome clicking <clears throat> and resist the urge to just keep playing notes because like you know like I said right when we're practicing keep we, we have a tendency to string everything together and go through all the different positions of like scales we might be working on with a certain note duration and we don't stop until we're finished maybe doing the whole set of positions of some scale we're working on like pentatonic scales right so that's the ticket right there and the more you do this less is more approach when you're spend five ten minutes doing this every time you pick up the guitar from practice sessions you'll start to see that when you go to play for real, right, real time, you'll have the ability to pull in some fast lines and keep things going if you want to do a flurry of things, right? But you'll be very natural to stop and put some space in there because it's a lot like speaking. You need to put some spaces in between, you know, what you're saying for the listener, the other person in the conversation, to take in what it is you're actually trying to tell them, okay, the message. We don't want to cloud it with too many words or too many notes. Okay, so let's check out some examples in real time so you can hear how this will amplify, it will, it will empower your blues leads, your blues guitar solo playing. Let's check it out. So as we can hear, right, playing less notes is very powerful. 
it actually helps us make some very bold statements when we're playing guitar, right? And we're taking a guitar solo. By saying less, we're actually saying much more when we do it. Okay, thanks for being here today. Enjoy this concept and pulling it into your playing, and we'll see you out here next time. Peace.